Uh, what is going on guys it's Dave here and as you see we are in a sleeper on Upper Red Lake as you guys can see it is one of the first week the sleepers are out which is really damn cool um, we're gonna be going for some walleye, pike, perch, whatever we can get honestly we're gonna try to get as much species as we can so stay tuned and I hope it's a good one alrighty boys I just went to check the flag and there's a fish on here doesn't feel big because I couldn't even pop my flag up but <laughs> All right, well, y'all can see how small these walleye I can get. <laughs> this is not the smallest one I got this trip, but she is pretty damn close. Probably like an eight incher. Let's let her go. There she goes, boys. I'm gonna show you how to set this thing up. Alrighty, boys. So all I do set up a little rainbow hook by the butt like that. Have my split shot. This is the stopper that basically makes the uh, iFish Pro go up. And I got a bobber stopper to set the depth. So what I do is basically set that thing a foot off the bottom, maybe two feet. Kind of play around with it to see where, what the fish like. Because there's, there's days that the fish are going to like it higher and lower. But yeah, we're just going to set it up about, this time I was about a foot, foot and a half off the bottom. I don't have my Vex out here, but I have that, uh, what is it called? preset already so what you're gonna do put this thing down and there it is as you see when the line gets pulled down there this trigger gets activated flag goes up I also got a blue tip right there which when that flag goes up I get an alert in my phone it starts ringing which is really cool I'll link it down below it's something really cool you guys should get it because I'm on the house right there as you see, you can't really see it th through the window, the flag. So, yeah. Stay tuned. Hopefully, we get some more fish. Got him, guys. Got something on the flag. I was setting up another one, and this one just popped up. And there is a beautiful eater. That is why you guys set up flags. Because we have gotten nothing for two hours. And there is probably like a 15-inch walleye. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just ran all the way from out there, but yeah, just on a minnow and this guy slammed it. Got him. Got another one on the fly, guys. Just a little fat head. <laughs> That's what you get at red light, guys. Yeah, as you see, little ones are mixed in with this stuff, so expect that. Gonna let this guy go. A little too small to keep but yeah the flag's been doing it for me chris has been getting them has been getting them jigging i'm kind of slugging with that so i just set up two flags i'm just chilling let's just get this kind of hooked let him go oh, hold on buddy there she goes guys all right you boys we got another flag oh shit this thing froze a little bit I don't know if he's still on there or not, but I'm gonna give it a go. Really hope you guys can hear with all this wind going on. Let's see if he's on there. Doesn't feel like it. Hope he dropped it. Dropped it, guys. We're gonna get another minnow and give it another go. Got him. Nice walleye, guys. Just on a little jig and spoon. Oh. Oh, there we go, guys. It's a nice little 13 to 14 inch walleye. Worked them right when I dropped down and I was messing with them for a bit. But yeah, I didn't get them on a rattling spoon, just like a really tiny spoon. I'll show you guys in a sec. Gonna keep that guy, it's a beautiful eater. Alrighty, guys, so I was supposed to show you the exact spoon, but uh, the hooks are kind of messed up on it and I retied and forgot to show you guys. But kind of similar to this color, this is a little flyer. That spoon was a little bit smaller without rattles. This does have rattles, but it's a smaller profile than the regular rattling spoons. They've been kind of finicky, so we've been using smaller spoons and it's been working out more. And we're just banging it like a couple feet off the bottom and 
Usually the aggressive fish are just gonna fly up and slam it. There's gonna be marks down there that you guys are gonna mark that's just gonna piss you the fuck off, but yeah. I'm just trying to get those that are flying off the bottom because usually those are the nicer walleye. Stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get something bigger. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, I was catching more of them on dead sticks. Chris was getting them more jigging, but for some reason this whole damn week, I was getting them on the dead sticks. Um, if you guys liked the video, hit the like button. Comment down below what you liked about the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.